Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel and today's video is a watch me work design. So as always I will pop all the links to the products I've used in the description box along with any discount codes I may have for the companies. If you do enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, don't forget to click that subscribe button and no messing around today, let's get on with the design. Mwah! So for this design I sort of was inspired by the gorgeous Paris glitter, which this glitter, <laughs> that was good timing, uh, from World of Glitter. So I thought I would do a bit of a um, sort of bridal inspired set. So I'm using a gorgeous floral decal from the White Wedding decals from Queen of Decals. I've cut that out and then I've just left that on a wet sponge um, so that that will be ready to use. Now I've also got this stunning galactic material from Glitterati. I'm using it in pearl and I thought it fitted in perfectly with my bridal theme. So I've just measured that roughly over the nail I'm going to be putting it on and then cut it out off camera because you all know I'm hopeless at cutting on camera uh, and then I've got that ready to use. So as always working with my Team Gorgeous acrylics I have got whipped cream to begin with and I'm using my aqua brush from Glitter Planet and uh, starting off with a bead of that whipped cream and I'm just putting a nice thin layer of that on my first nail. Uh, now I'm not worrying too much if it's not perfect at the cuticle because I'm going to add some glitter there at the end. I didn't want it to be really really bulky so um, I didn't go in with white and once I was happy I am going to place that material onto the wet acrylic. Well that was the plan at least but it was such a hot day when I was doing these. Uh, that the acrylic was drying super quick um, so I did have a few difficulties and I did have to sort of put some more acrylic on and hold it for ages don't worry I haven't shown all of that because oh, it would have taken forever um, but yeah so once I had stuck it in place I'm just gonna forget about that nail for a moment and I'm gonna get all my whipped cream on the other nails uh, so on this nail I'm going to be doing a bit of a glittery ombre, so I pay, placed even my bead of whipped cream at the cuticle, just neatening up the line there and then I'm blending it down towards the free edge, doesn't have to be perfect at all because I'm going to be covering that line with acrylic, so just adding a little bit more there uh, and then just going to leave that one. Onto this nail I'm going to be doing an ombre, so I've placed my bead of glitter just around where that natural free edge is, um, patted it so that it covers right across the nail, then blend it back towards the cuticle and then down towards the free edge. Again, just sort of painting it on because I'm going to be capping all of these at the end adding a little bit more so I've got sort of the true depth of colour right the way across the nail, no patchy patchiness going on. And then on this last nail, again I'm going to be doing a glitter ombre but I'm going to reverse it from the other nail so I'm doing a bead exactly like I did on that previous nail, um, blending down, blending back. Uh, I am using the FX forehand from Nailtech Supplies as always uh, and I'm just using the base nails on this design I haven't added an extension or anything but I did put down a clear base of acrylic first so now that material is stuck in place finally I am just going to cut away all of the excess using my stalk scissors and I sort of cut it in slightly so that when I come to uh, cap it at the end all that material will be encapsulated. Onto my ombre nail and I'm using the gorgeous candy floss. This is a beautiful sparkly pink uh, and this is what I'm using for the rest of that ombre. So place my bead just above where the white finished and I'm blending that down towards the free edge and um, patting it so that I don't have any sh lines or dips in the acrylic and then I'll add a second bead at the cuticle and blend that 
down over top. Uh, now I always cap my uh, ombres anyway but I am adding the decal onto this one. So again if that ombre didn't turn out perfectly it's going to have that flower over top of it so not the end of the world. So I've just slid that gently off the backing paper using my tweezers, placed it where I want it and then just gently patting it down, getting rid of any creases by just gently rubbing them out. Don't want to do this too hard or anything because it is incredibly flimsy. So I've put some of that uh, glitter into a little dappen dish, much easier than trying to get it out of the bottle. And I'm going to be using my clear candy acrylic from Team Gorgeous um, picking up some small wet beads into the glitter and then just kind of putting it where I want it uh, using the tip of my brush to move it around. So here I just want a little bandish at the cuticle and just blending it down so that it's fading out slightly over top of that material obviously I don't want to cover all of that material I just wanted something a bit different at the cuticle uh, and then I'm going to add the glitter to my two glitter ombres and um, I didn't add any on that uh, nail with the water decal so um, I'm going to do that and let you watch um, and so we'll be back in a bit. So now all of my glitter is in place, I am going to cap all of these nails using my clear candy acrylic. Now obviously you don't need me to talk through how I'm capping that, but I thought I would use this time to um, give you any information you need. So if you are liking the look of this gorgeous hand from Nowtech Supplies, it is what I use in all of my videos. I thoroughly recommend. Um, I do now have a discount code for Nowtech Supplies. It is NTS Cinderheli 10 and that will get you 10% off everything. Hands, pigments, crystals and all the new goodies that they have got coming in the future. If you also like the look of the gorgeous decals I use from Queen of Decals and they have so many fabulous designs, again I have a discount code for them, it is HELI10 and it will get you 10% off there. And if you like the look of the brush I'm using, it is my absolute favourite brush, I cannot recommend the Glitter Planet brushes enough. Um, please feel free to use my code HELEN10, it'll get you 10% off there. And last but not least, um, if you're loving the look of my Team Gorgeous acrylics as much as I do, uh, I do have a discount code for there for you to use. Now at the moment the code is HELENTG5, however these codes do change monthly. So please check out the description box and I will put the new code in there if it has changed. Um, and it is changing very soon. So check out the description box for that one. But all of the details are in the description box. 
So I have filed and refined all the nails off camera and I'm using my bling on adhesive from Nail Tech Supplies. I'm using some AB crystals from Nail Tech Supplies. I've got a super, super big one and then some slightly little ones. And I'm also using my um, picker upper from Nail Tech Supplies just to add a little bit of bling to the nails. Now, I'm absolutely loving this bling on adhesive for uh, applying my crystals. You can apply it over top coat or gel polish and because it's cured you don't have to worry about waiting for it to dry forever and the crystals just falling all over the place and it really does hold them in place. So I have just used a gel brush and placed a thin layer of that sort of around the nail where I want to place the crystals. If you watch closely, you'll notice I do manage to knock all the crystals I placed on the other finger or the other nail out of place. So I have to manoeuvre those before I cure it. But I'm just now finding the sizes I want and placing them. And with this, again, because you have to cure it, you don't have to worry about the, it drying and you keep having to add more glue. Uh, so it is I definitely recommend that all the links for everything I've used will be in the description box but definitely check that one out if you're a massive fan of adding bling to your nails like I am so just gonna place the final few crystals on this nail um, I just fancied something a bit blingy here <laughs> um, so I just thought I'd do some random blingy placement and once I'm happy with all of that, cannot have too much bling, obviously. So just add a few more. And the great thing about this picker upper is you've got that pointy end to help you move them around. So I'm just using that and rearranging these crystals. And then I'm gonna pop it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. Now, I've just remembered, in a video several weeks ago, I said I was going to try using my hand with the clippy in thingy and without and tell you which I prefer. I prefer using it clipped in to my phone holder now. Um, so there, that is the update there. Finally, I'm going in with my Team Gorgeous Top Gloss. It's my favorite, you all know that. Um, so I'm just applying a nice, thin coat of this over all of the nails, butting it right up to all of those crystals. Don't want to go over them, but just right up to them. This really does help to seal them all in. If you want to, get a nice thin brush and get right in and amongst them. And once I have done this, I'm going to pop it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And that is this design finished. And there we have my super sparkly blingy bridal nails complete and I really do love that glitter from World of Glitter. So I am just going to finish off with my Team Gorgeous cuticle oil. I find it just gets rid of that excess dust but obviously on a real person you would always finish your service with a cuticle oil and that is the end of this video. So as always, I will pop all the links in the description box along with all those discount codes. Make sure you check there for the Team Gorgeous one in case it has changed. Thank you so much for watching. And please give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Bye for now. Mwah.